Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Sprout Social. I'm going to cover a very quick, basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Sprout Social works. So if you have no idea about Sprout Social and how to get started, then this video is for you. Sprout Social is a social media management and intelligence tool for brands and agencies of all sizes to manage conversations and surface the actionable insights that drive real business impact. In this tutorial, we will explore the different features of Sprout Social and how you can use them to manage your social media profiles effectively. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and jump right into the Sprout Social tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account. And if you already have an account, just skip this step. You will find two options, free trial and request a demo. If you choose the free trial option, you will be able to start a 30-day free trial without the need for a credit card. Therefore, it is recommended that you choose the free trial option. After selecting the free trial option, the next step is to create an account by providing your name, surname, email address, and password. Then you will need to attach any of your social media profiles such as Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Pinterest, and TikTok to your account. Finally, you will need to add information about your organization, including the organization name, size, country, time zone, and language. Once you have entered this information, click Next to complete the process. After completing your account setup, you will be redirected to your dashboard. So here we are in my Sprout Social account. First I'll show you what you can actually find in Sprout Social, and then I'll show you how we can use Sprout Social. So after logging into your Sprout Social account, you will be taken to the dashboard. The dashboard is a central hub where you can manage all of your social media accounts in one place. On the left side of the dashboard, there is a left navigation bar. This bar contains a variety of options including Dashboard, Smart Inbox, Tasks, Feeds, Publishing, Listening, Reports, People, Reviews, and Account and Setting. The Smart Inbox is a unified stream of all your incoming messages from different social media channels. The Smart Inbox allows you to view your messages, including private messages, completed messages, saved messages, and reply approvals all in one place. You can filter your messages by profiles, message types, tags, and languages to quickly find and respond to important messages. The Smart Inbox helps you manage your social media presence efficiently by consolidating all your messages in one place and providing you with the tools you need to respond to them in a timely manner. The Tasks tab is where you can assign incoming messages to specific users based on their type. This means you can give different social media tasks to team members who are good at specific things, which can make your social media work more organized and efficient. In the Tasks tab, you can view the list of all the assigned tasks and filter them by type, status, and priority. In the Feeds tab, you can see the posts from the people you follow on your social media profiles. This includes the latest tweets from people you follow on Twitter and posts from other social media platforms. You can interact with these posts by liking, commenting, or sharing them, allowing you to build relationships with your audience and engage with your followers. The Publishing tab helps you plan and publish your social media content using advanced publishing tools. With the Publication tab, you can use the calendar to view and plan scheduled content, Sprout Queue to queue content to be shared on specific days and times, and Drafts to view content that has been drafted but not yet scheduled or queued for publishing. In addition, the Need Approval feature allows you to approve or reject submitted messages, while the Rejected tab lets you view rejected messages. The Listening tab can help to learn important information about your business by monitoring what people are saying on social media. You can use custom topics and keywords to find out what people are talking about related to your business. This can help you discover trends and opportunities to improve your business. By listening to what your audience is saying on social media, you can also learn what they like and don't like about your business. This information can be used to make important decisions and improvements to your business. The Reports tab provides you with detailed insights into your social media performance. With this tab, you can analyze various aspects of your social media strategy and evaluate the level of interaction with your content. In the Reports tab, you can review post performance, profile performance, and tag performance. This allows you to see how your posts are performing, 
how your profile is attracting and retaining followers, and how your content is being tagged and categorized. In addition, you can use the Reports tab to identify opportunities, trends, and themes that can help you improve your social media strategy. You can also perform a competitive analysis by following the profiles of your competitors and comparing their performance with yours. Finally, the Reports tab allows you to view content performance by checking how the content you have already published across multiple channels is performing. You can also export and share the results with your team to collaborate and improve your social media strategy. The People tab helps you manage your social media profiles. With the People tab, you can search for specific profiles, filter your list of profiles, and manage your VIP lists. To search for a profile, you can simply enter a keyword into the search bar and filter the search by profile keywords, profile names, social profiles, or bio information. You can also use filters to refine your search results by choosing the social profiles you want to view user profiles for, selecting the follower count options, or choosing which profiles belong to your VIP lists. If you've created a VIP list, you can easily manage it by hovering over a profile in the People view to see all the VIP lists a profile belongs to. You can add or remove a profile from your VIP list or create a new VIP list on the fly. The Reviews tab allows you to manage all your reviews, including those that are positive, negative, and completed. With this feature, you can connect review profiles to manage and respond to them in one place. The Account and Settings tab helps you to manage your account settings and make changes to your profile information. Here you can connect Sprout Social to your social media profiles, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and more. You can also invite team members to collaborate with you on your social media management tasks. In addition to the left navigation panel, there are several important buttons located on the right side of your Sprout Social dashboard. At the top right corner of the screen, you will see the Compose button that allows you to compose and post messages to your social media platforms. This makes it easy to quickly share content with your followers. The notification bar located next to the Compose button will let you know when you have new notifications from your social media accounts. This way you can stay up to date on any important messages or comments that you need to respond to. Another important button on the right side of the dashboard is the Team Conversation button. This allows you to communicate easily with your team members without having to switch to a different platform. You can access all of your team conversations in one convenient location. The Share Links button is useful for sharing details and results of your social media strategy with others. The plus icon located next to it allows you to quickly and easily connect new social profiles to your Sprout social account. The Team Members icon lets you invite new team members to join your Sprout social account via email. The search icon makes it easy to search for specific content across your social media profiles. The keyboard button shows you all of the keyboard shortcuts you can use to navigate the Sprout Social dashboard more efficiently. Finally, the Help button provides access to Sprout Social support, news, learning portals, and community resources. Sprout Social offers four different plans for its users. Standard, Professional, Advanced, and Enterprise. Each plan offers different features and pricing options to meet the needs of different types of users. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Sprout Social. There are more things to learn about Sprout Social, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for